Yo, what's going on guys? Chris here. Um, I wanted to talk about being proactive and being reactive. I'm reading a book right now. Uh, it's uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Uh, he actually just recently died and it was crazy. I just started reading his book and then I read on the news that the dude was, I don't know, like 78 and he had cancer. cancer. But, um, you know, rest in peace, Stephen. I like the book. Really enjoy it. I'm glad you wrote it. Um, but he talked about being proactive and being reactive. And it really struck me. Like, it really just sent, like, just a wave of just, like, whoa, just eye-opening stuff. Because I realized that a lot of people are just reactive. They react to the, just the circumstances of their own lives. You know, like, not even, not even their own lives. Just they react to other people's lives and let it affect their own life. And it's something I don't get. I was just, I was talking to a, a friend recently. And she's a hairstylist. She does hair. And she's saying, you know, Chris, like, I'm working this job and I, you know, I have to, I, you know, the way I figure it is I have to pay my dues before I can really do what I want to do. And so I asked her, I said, well, what do you really want to do? She said, well, I just really want to help people. Like, I just want to find happiness. And I said, okay, well, that's cool. But I mean, don't you want to be like a popular hairstylist or something? Like, I mean, there's got to be some more self gratification than that. And she said, you know, yeah, of course she wants to be a famous hairstylist. I said, okay, so why do you have to work at this job? Like, no one said you have to, you're choosing to, you're being reactive to your environment. And you know, she said she enjoys some things about her work space, but there was a lot of things that aggravated her. And I said, well, those things aren't aggravating you. They're, they're going to be there whether you like it or not. But you're the one that's choosing whether it's unconsciously or, uh, or consciously. Like, you're choosing to let those things affect you. It's not, it's not their fault. Like, they're just they're being in their own way. Like, you're the one that's choosing to let it affect you. And so I just thought it was, it was crazy, like, because as soon as we had this conversation... This is like the exact chapter that I just was happening to read. And it was just, I was like, whoa. So, I don't know, it was, it was pretty cool stuff. But um, basically, I was using her as an example because you, if, if she really wanted it, if she does want it, she could easily say, okay, I'm going to work one more month, have, you know, little goals, little little self-victories within herself and say, I'm going to work one more month, month I'm going to sell you know, maybe some stuff I don't need, some things that I think are necessities, but I don't need. I'm going to save up all my money, and I'm going to find out who the top five people are in, in, the, in, the, in the hair industry are. I'm going to get in front of these people, and I'm going to make decisions. You know, I'm going to be like, hey, what do you do, or can I be an understudy of you? Like, help me out. Like, here's what I bring to the table. You know, I could definitely help you, and I know that you know some people. Like, if she really wanted it, she would just go out there and do it. Like, there's nothing stopping her, you know. When you say something's stopping you or someone, that's just an excuse. So I don't really understand it. Um, oh, I had a burp there. <laughs> um, so that's being reactive to your environment, you know. But being proactive is is going out there and just and just doing it regardless. Like, I mean, a lot of people always complain about work, and you know, you. I guess in a sense, you have to go to work if you have a family. You have to support people, but. I mean, you don't have to go to work, you know, you, you choose to go to work, but you choose to go to work because you understand the, the, uh, the, the, the consequences if you don't go to work. Well, okay, what are the spiderweb effects? The spiderweb effects are, well, if I don't go to, if I don't go to work, then you know, I'm not going to make any money, and if I don't have any money, then I can't take care of my family, and if I can't take care of my family, then they possibly are, are going to go hungry, and we're going to have to depend on other people, and... You know, those are just things that people don't want to go through, so I understand, but you're making a, a choice. So, uh, it was a, a, another video I just posted a few days ago. Uh, if, you, if you are going to choose to get into some kind of job or career, you should be happy with it. And if you're not happy with your current job or circumstances, then while you're working this job, go ahead and just look for something else, man. There's a bunch of other stuff going on out there. Like, find it, you know? So, those are the two differences between reactive and proactive. You know, reactive is letting the all these external things and thoughts and opinions and physical things like take effect on you and being proactive is saying screw all that stuff I'm gonna go ahead and do what I want to do anyway you know I might be going through some things right now that suck or that I don't like but I'm gonna change that because I have that choice I have that power and nobody else can take that away from you so take that today be proactive I know it's already like six o'clock but the rest of your day <laughs> be proactive do something cool enjoy guys see you later